This is a class two cavity preparation for the lower second molar. Class two cavity preparation consists of two segments preparation for the occlusal segment and preparation for the proximal segment. The preparation for the occlusal segment follows the same fundamentals already given for the class 1 silver amalgam, except that the external outline is extended proximally towards the defective proximal surface. The occlusal outline form in the region of the proximal box is determined primarily by the buccolingual position of the contact and the extent of carious lesion. This is a preparation for class 1 cavity follows the principles of GV Black. Now we will prepare the proximal segment. We can use a pencil to uh, label the contact with the adjacent tooth. This is optional. Now with a fissure bear This is a fissure bear. We will we will do weakening for the proximal margin of the tooth. Just do weakening for the proximal margin of the tooth. Leave a thin shell of a tooth structure so that we will not to avoid hitting the adjacent tooth while preparation. Extend the preparation of occlusal class 1 to the proximal area. This is the weakening of the margin. This is the position of the gingival uh, margin. Just check with the prop the smoothness of the walls and the floor. Now with a round bear, we do 0.5 to 0.8 millim. Just drop apically. Now switch to fisher to fisher bear. Inside the hole, we do with the around bear, just go buccally and lingually to create the axial wall and gingival seat. Buccolingual movement with a fisher bear. This is how to create the proximal box. Now this is the gingival seat as you see with the prop and the axial wall. We create the gingival seat and axial wall leaving a thin shell of tooth structure. Now we will break the remaining thin shell of the tooth structure and open the contact with the adjacent tooth.
to provide a convenience form and a uniform accessibility along their entire length. Continue the removal of the adjacent of the uh, remaining thin shell of the tooth structure. The buckle wall <coughs> of the proximal box should be converge occlusally, diverge proximally. The lingual wall of the proximal box should be converge occlusally and diverge proximally. This is a remnant removed with a probe. Now the contact is bracked with the adjacent tooth. Continue. Continue preparation of the proximal box. Smoothness for the gingival seat. This is the class 2 cavity preparation. The buccal and lingual walls are converged occlusally. The gingival seat is a flat, flat, smooth palpal floor. Finishing to the cavity with a fissure bear. The bear, the fissure bear, is inclined buccally to make the lingual wall of the box converge occlusally. This is a gingival margin trimmer uh, to do beveling to the axiopalpal line angle and to the gingival margin. This is the beveling of the gingival margin. with gingival margin trimmer. Check the cavity with a prop, it should be smooth, flat, 0.3 minimum of 0.3 millim of separation should be allowed between the gingival cavo surface and the proximal surface of the adjacent tooth. It means that only the tip of the prop can go freely between the two adjacent teeth. All the internal line angles should be rounded. 